Joining me on Fan TV after the 7-3 home victory against the Sheffield Steel Dogs, I've got Adam Long and I've got Tom Norton. The game was always likely to see the Phantoms qualify for the semi-final of this Autumn Cup, but you must be really pleased with the way you've gone about your business tonight. Adam, maybe start with you. Um, yeah, I think first period, Sheffield had nothing. We played pretty solid from the back all the way forward. Uh, we got our reward then. Um, even in the second and third period, I thought we played solid. Just the odd moment here and there where we just switch off maybe and... I think that's something we work on, trying to play for the full 60 minutes. So I think uh, overall it was a great game and um, Slava will be happy. Tom, from, from your perspective, what, what stands out as, the, as the, the real achievement tonight? Just getting the two points, that's what we set out to do. Win the game, qualify, and today we want to be competing for trophies. So we need to win games if we want to win trophies. I thought that uh, whilst the, the dogs turned the puck over a number of times, we kept them pinned in lots we didn't turn it over and, and we took our chances yeah we took our chances tonight um, we worked hard to get the put back as well I think we were we were a little bit disappointed with our second period performance to be fair um, and we came out and we um, we started the third quite well I think we got power play straight off the bat I think and that sort of set us up quite well thought uh, one of the key features and I was talking to you, you'll be pleased to hear any of the commentary because Greg was up there having a word but one of the key features certainly through the first period was that we kept them pinned in they didn't get a chance to get off the, the defence was staying out there for, for shifts that were one and a half and two minutes long whereas we got a chance to change and, and that pressure ultimately led to goals yeah I think they only had 4D as well so we were aware of that so we knew we had to kind of pen them in their zone and um, keep them trapped in and obviously it's hard to make good plays and solid plays when you're tired um, I think it helped tonight as well um, we had Connor Pollard and Nathan Pollard as well rolling as a fourth line and they were they were really good tonight um, added another dimension to our team so it was um, it was good to see so hopefully um, you know it keeps going like that and we can um, pen, team, pen, team, pen teams in <laughs> and then that fourth line of ours can come out and um, do the work and the importance Adam of special teams there were two opportunities where the Steel Dogs had five on three now they did score on the, one of the final penalties but we, we kept them out I think defensively from front to back we've done really well yeah I mean I get playing a five on three against any team it doesn't matter who you're playing whether it's the person at the top or the bottom it's always tough um, there's a lot of space and the teams can move it around but I thought the guys uh, tonight did well in front they gave them nothing um, and yeah pretty solid all around long drive tomorrow night I think it's a, it's a league fixture I think to, to Invicta we, we saw them here and it was uh, we, competitive up to a point and then uh, and two big games next weekend so um, uh, the, the, the season is panning out I, I can't imagine you thought that it would be quite like this 100% league record at the moment we've just got to keep our um, heads on our shoulders not get too high not get too low I know it's a cliche saying but um, we've got to keep going because you know, the big games, and we're playing at the XEPL teams, we need to be getting results in them, but we don't need to be sl slipping up to the NIHL teams, and they can play as well, so we need to be ready for them, especially in their home barns. They're going to want to impress their fans and want to um, take a scalp. I know this, this is this extending the interview somewhat, but th there was a narrative before the season started that the, the NIHL teams could only compete by by playing very physically and fighting. We, we've, not, we've not seen that at all in any way, shape or form. But it does feel like it's going to be the games between Bracknell and Basingstoke and Swindon ourselves that will determine, as we, you, you probably imagined, um, we can't afford to drop any points to teams like Swindon who we've got next weekend. Yeah, of course. Um, every game is a big game. And I wouldn't say just the EPL team, the ex-EPL teams. Um, as it proved, I think, was it last weekend, Streatham took Basingstoke right down to the wire. I mean, Invicta took Bracknell into overtime, which who would expect? No one would think that. Um, but... I think we just need to take one game at a time. We're doing well at the minute. Just keep to what we've been told to do and yeah, just have a solid performance week in, week out. So far, so good. It's almost November and we're, we're, we're doing quite well. So uh, thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon.